I bought Anthony Edwards when nobody else was the next Michael Jordan. Everyone asks me all the time when I'm opening a card shop. Our first location will be in London. I want you guys to take a look at this. We're still in construction. We're working on getting allocation for top. Here's our first whatnot booth right here. Check it out. We'll be streaming there. And then this is our next location where we will have a kids area for trade nights. And then we're working on building the front counter right here. You guys, coming soon, my first card shop. I can't believe this how long it took. Truly honored. And anybody that wants to make it, this will be our form of transportation to get to the shop. We'll see you soon. Opening TBD. Dap them up. Don't hit too hard. Oh, we have sports cards, sports cards, and more sports. We flew 5,000 miles to a card show, so pretty crazy. I always tell people this all the time. If it's your first Dallas card show, if it's your first national, like experience it, feel it out, and then kind of learn from that experience to do the next thing, um, which is what I do. Got my spreadsheets here, how much money we've spent. It's money out and money in, money out, money in. So this is a disclaimer to anybody watching this. If you're ever going to a card show, there's a couple of requirements. Number one, take a shower. Number two, Deodorize. brush your teeth. Number three, this is a really important one and a lot of people don't realize this. There's th something called deodorant. So we're gonna wear deodorant. You guys, we gotta stop the stinkiness in card shows. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm not gonna take a shower the rest of the week just to do an experiment and see. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna take a shower. Take daily showers and wear deodorant, all right? Anybody out there watching this, if you need the link to this deodorant, use the code MOJO. To I'm just kidding. There's no, there's no code. There's no deodorant code. Just want to show you guys what my morning looks like. It's currently 12:50 a.m. in California, and right now it's only 9:30. I've been up since 7 a.m. Got a nice early start to our day, um, and kind of want to show you guys what my day looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, I woke up in London. Let's freaking go. What up? Good morning, everyone from London, England. What's good? Gonna have a great day today. We got sports card logging. We've got packages to open, which are gonna be our inventory for the show. And we have a massive PSA reveal. But there's one huge freaking problem. We have no coffee. We have no coffee here. They only have tea in our in our Airbnb. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get some coffee, we're gonna get this fired up, and we have a ton of stuff to do today. So let me get a coffee in me, and then let's show you guys some sports cards. Guys, we have our spreadsheets, and I told you guys I was gonna share the spreadsheet with you. You guys, my formatting is finally getting going, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a mock document of my spreadsheet. I just need to make sure the calculations work, um, but keep your cards organized, that's a big thing for me. So you know, I'll give you an example. Vince Young, AJ Dillon, Dennis, 85 bucks right there. I had to log that for a couple from a while ago. We have Burbank inventory. We have how much we spent in Toronto. We did 7,500. That's how much cash. Average Joe's inventory. Our whatnot sale from 424. We did 2123. So it's money out and money in. Money out, money in. So got my spreadsheets. I always try to log my purchases, my sales. If we buy anything here, I'll log it in. So say I just buy a Garnacho PSA 10, for example, for $400. I'm not saying that's what it is, but if I get that, I'll log it in. Um, but I always, I always start my morning off. I pray, I get coffee, and then I start on my computer. Um, and you know, I start, have a great morning for that. I'll probably learn more. I'll be more of an observer and a sponge this weekend than uh, like, I'm not trying to be an expert at all, but just the lay of the land. Like we're gonna have to see if they'll accept United States money, euros versus like in Canada, they wanted US cash and the conversions and this and that. So it's gonna be a battle of learning the, like what people want here and uh, in terms of cash money and in terms of cards, we're just gonna have to learn as we go. But that's kind of the best part about travel in general. If you take cards out of it, you kind of learn as you go from different experiences in a different area that's unfamiliar, right? We're getting in the uncomfortable of not being in our, you know, in our usual United States setting. So, um, you know, with that, it's gonna be a great time here, so. All right, you guys, I wanna show you what's in these packages here. Oh, I should talk about the ticket fraud on this. All right, I'll talk about that in a second. All right, you guys, we have a ton of stuff. I didn't bring my Zion case, but anybody out there watching this, if you need a Zion case, I highly recommend. I just didn't wanna bring it overseas because it's just too much. So I actually packed my cards in this. We're here to buy sports cards uh, and also, it's a different, for me, it's not just buying sports cards. It's to tell the stories and hear the story. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I brought. Let's do this live mail day from stuff that you guys might recognize. I brought a little bit of variety. 
But I, I, I definitely want to buy here and, you know, obviously I want to hear, I want to see what people in England, the collectors in England are like. This channel is not just about buying, collecting, flipping, investing in cards. We want to hear stories as well. So with that, um, you know, I wanted to just tell it, share that with you guys. Anyway, guys, this is like some pretty, pretty cool stuff. I'm, and I'm sure, it's, I'm thinking about this now. The stuff in this pileup is kind of not, not re your regular run of the mill. Anthony Edwards, Steph Curry rookies. This is like non-sport, irregular sports. So I wanna show you guys what I brought. So first off from 2016 tops, five star. I don't bring this card out a lot, but I figured since we're in London, I want people to see this. It's a one of one Louis Armstrong auto. I never really bring it to shows. This is one of the few times in my mind, you know, I've we've been to a lot of different shows and there's times we don't bring a lot of cards, but for me, it's not about selling this card. I think almost wanna just show it off and just show people that like, you know, there is other stuff outside of sports cards out there. And this is kind of more of like a museum piece card. Unless I got an absolutely spectacular offer on this, I would sell it. But otherwise, like I'm just bringing it for show. Next, I brought this Gustavo Curtin 95, three out of 50, just something different, tennis player. Uh, Sergi Nabri from Germany. This is numbered four out of five. And I feel like we brought soccer and they probably have a lot of soccer here, but I wanted to kind of cater to what they have here versus American football or NBA. Knowing my luck, they're probably gonna want NBA and NFL and I came in here thinking they want soccer, but it is what it is. This one's pretty cool actually. Vinicius Jr. autograph right there from uh, 2022 Prism Qatar. You guys can see it, there it is. So pretty cool right there. He's an absolute beast. And then I thought this was cool. 2021 Black Diamond Marvel Exquisite Collections, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, out of 125 Exquisite. I picked this up at Burbank Cards. And I thought people in England could appreciate this. Iron Man right there. Once again, a lot of these cards I haven't really shown you guys. Thought this was a funny one. 2018 Cryptocurrency PSA 10. And then Jeremy Doku. This is like the, kind of like, uh, what is it called? Downtown of soccer right there. So that's the first pileup. That was kind of, I didn't know that that was gonna be in the first package, but I'm actually kind of happy because that's that's the variety I really wanted to bring to England. I, as you can see, it's not my NBA NFL run of the mill. I don't know if people here care about Justin Herbert, but if they do, and, and then we'll know for next time. I always say we go to a show and we learn from each one. Um, so this next card's an absolute banger. Shout out to She Collects, uh, Hannah, Hannah Chang. I know this is her boy. Hung Ming Sun, this is a piece of the soccer ball autograph. This is like one of the coolest cards I've picked up in a long time. Check that thing out. Look at the look at the soccer ball just popping out of this thing. Absolutely insane. And his autograph is beautiful. This is from Merlin UCC 2223 Tops. So I thought Tops did a wonderful job with this set. The fact that the autograph, I mean, I, the only thing I would say is I wish the autograph was on card, but the fact that Tops put these like soccer balls into the card is so interesting to me. So really happy about that. I picked that up a couple weeks ago um, in our video. And I brought this Captain Hook Silver. I don't know if they like Disney here, but I just thought it would be really cool to bring that from Disney, Kirk, what was it called? Kikawa or whatever. And then I did bring a baseball card here. It's a Paul Goldschmidt number two out of five. Bat knob auto, or bat knob. Bat, game use bat with an autograph. So if they like Paul Goldschmidt in England, I'll be very surprised and impressed. And then let's see what else we brought. Um, okay, so next up, I got a little Meek Mill autograph. I picked this up recently in a deal. 23 gallon and Ginser. We picked this up in Canada. So Meek Mill autograph. I feel like they can appreciate music here. And then we saw him play last night. They got smoked last night. 22-23 Alejandro Garnacho. Keep an eye out for this guy. Even though Manchester United's not very good, this guy's pretty cool. Garnacho right there, PSA 10. I wish I would have brought it to the game, but next, uh, I got this national, I got this national treasures autograph, 22 out of 25, Jonathan Taylor. CD Lamb out of 75, rookie auto. So we did bring some football. Jonathan Taylor out of 99, patch auto from Immaculate. Will Levis, PSA 10. And then lastly, I had to bring this since we're in England. PSA nine Supernova out of ninety nine. Phil Foden. So we'll actually probably give we'll probably give a couple of these away um, if we see people take some of these soccer cards out. Um, but you know, pretty good lineup of stuff. I tried to balance it out with non sport and sports. But I, I you know I don't know what to expect, guys. We're in London. We're gonna try to sell cryptocurrency and Ooh. Allen and Ginter's. Look at this. <laughs> Do you think people are gonna buy cryptocurrency cards? We should honestly sell these. Yeah. 
This is crazy. Is that a PSA 10? Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, let's, you look up the pop report. I gotta see if how many of these are in. We should just, we should see this. Let me see, where's my phone? Oh, look at that, PSA scanner. This isn't even an advertisement, he just did it. <laughs> this is great. All right, PSA scanning says. Well, it's not a lot, but dog, it went up. Whoa, PSA estimates $200 value. You think it's more? Yeah, because usually PSA's estimation is a little Shoot, low. look at the auction prices. April 60... I mean, these are the sales history. All right. Well, crypto... You know what? These are worth more than crypto, in my opinion. No, they're not. But <laughs> population 1295 on these. So it's less than Luca. Less than Luca. You guys, you're buying Luca and Zion. We have these cryptocurrency. We've honestly... I've had mine for a minute. I've had mine as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was a big deal. It was a big <laughs> deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've had, I have the other one, the PSA 9 and the raw of my parents, but I had to bring this. It's funny. Cryptocurrency. If you guys are looking for this card, well, I always try, people always ask me like, oh, like uh, what set was it from? We're not showing the cards. So I'm going to show more cards. 2018 tops down against your cryptocurrency. Oh, that was Luca's rookie year. Oh yeah. Luca, yeah. Luca's rookie year. There go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Go to Greg's bro. So we went to this place called Greg's. Somebody from our Instagram told us to come to this place. It kind of gave me a McDonald's kind of vibe to it. Greg's. Greg's. I got a white coffee and he got a black coffee. Obviously. No joke. I was like, oh, I just want a coffee with half and half. And I guess it's called a white coffee. Didn't know that. Anyway, show them what we got in here. We got a sausage in an in a egg McMuffin. I, this is totally different from what I thought we were going to get. Dude, we got three glizzies in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Yo, if this was a submission that I sent into PSA hoping for a 10, this is a 5. Hey, this is a CGC 8 for me. <laughs> Whoever said to go to Greg's? <laughs> you get their submission back and be like, what the? They're going to, we didn't take the sauce. We didn't know what the sauce is. I don't know, man. The most important thing today. Is to try the coffee. By the way, Mary Poppins is hanging out behind us. But this is the most important thing we got to try. This is a white coffee, not coffee with half and half. They call it white. Say what you guys say. It's I. Right. How's your black coffee, sir? Sensational. Gotta stay hydrated out here. Oh, hello, hello there. <laughs> Did you just hit the Jeff Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he does that anymore. Oh, there's shit in there. Oh, there's shit in the thing. <laughs> there is shit in the thing. They don't, they don't mess around, bro. All right, it's time to trying to put my seal of approval on this thing. But don't don't be too obvious, dude. I feel what? like it's I feel like it's against the law. It's against the law. I feel like it. I don't know. It don't matter. But if we get stuck in London, I could live here forever. <laughs> it's over. Sell cards in London. <laughs> get your way Who around. Who put that there? Who put that there? I can't believe. Why, how could you do that? <laughs> how could you put that there? How? How would you do something like that? Look at this. What? I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Call Nelson? Yeah, to fight the World War II when they oh. defeated him. Wow. And he died in that war. How long has this been here? It's been here for years, years. It's at like the 40s, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When there is trouble, there's only one man that can save the day. His name is Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. I decided to bring this card with me. I thought it was pretty, pretty cool area for this thing. This was come. This has been around since around 1940. This was a post World War II thing. I learned a lot in school. There's nothing like travel. Travel gives you an experience to learn and ask the locals and be in the actual positions where people are. 
as you can see, it says right here, there's a fountain to the right and a fountain to the left. We've got the National Gallery here. We've got the monument to the top right there. As you can see, it says right here, the fountains and the, bu and the bus against the north wall of the square were erected by a parliament to the memory and of admirals of the fleet and that their illustrious services to the state might never be forgotten. Falger Square is a public square in the city of Westminster, Central London, established in the early 19th century, formerly known as Charing Crossing. The square's name commemorates the Battle of Trafalgar, the British naval victory over the Napoleonic Wars over France and Spain that took place October 21st, 1805. And then they built this later on. But wow, just a lot of history here. And it's pretty cool to see this, man. People come here to hang out, take some pretty sick photos. And part of the part of the the journey through our YouTube channel is we're not only going to card shows, we're learning about culture and different things around the world. So pretty cool to see. I learned something new today. Bless you. Bless you. We're the northbound to William, no, northbound to Wallam. We need to go south, this is southbound. We need to go, come on. Uh, we gotta come back up the other way then. Isn't this the Victoria line? This is southbound. Was the other one north? We gotta go back. You might want to move like they are. Look, all these rooms. You said all these women. That's a dude right there. Right? He's right here too. Northbound to Wall Hamstow or whatever the hell this shit is. These are these are way warmer and smaller than New York. If this is what I think it is, which is Trafalgar Square, we went three miles. Look at how much we walked. 18,000, that, bro, that, that. We did 18,000 yesterday. If, eight, if it was 18,000 yesterday, bro, that's almost uh, seven miles. We did 9,300 miles in, in that moment. I think we could, so. we could have walked 9,300 9, miles, 9,300 steps. All right, we're choosing a good spot. Look at these boys. What? Uh, are, are, are you sure? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a Michelin. Is that the Michelin star? I don't know. I'm taking video of these first. So delicate. That is okay. the Michelin um, man, I'm, I'm, bro. Probably keep in better condition. Yeah. Just take a chair. Their hygiene is. We call three miles and sitting down, bro. We have Christian Pulisic and George Russell here eating right. with us. Enough. Are we gonna trade? Sure. It's just the base, you know. Okay. Yeah, smoked chicken. That was JD's choice, and I'm in for it. Hmm. Shoo, shoo. I'm gonna try this chicken. I get it ready for. I gotta get ready for Japan. <laughs> That tastes like bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Loki kind of nice. Chicken chow mein is a classic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> template. T template our videos like, like our boy Justin. There's no I in team, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sweet and sour chicken. Great. You can't go wrong. Right. We're starving. We walk, we walk too much. Time to eat. Thank you. First one, the spicy pork salmon bar, and that's for chicken salmon bar. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. That's the spicy one. What's this little tab? It looks like a... It shows us which one's is spicy and which one isn't, I guess. I guess, yeah. The, the, the little red tab here, mom? He called her mom. He called her mom. Aren't you supposed to, like, dip it into something? Come on, these are steam. Mmm. Spicy. How is it? It's got some kick. This man's this man's KO'd, bro. 
Game time. The water was steamy. It was good though? Yeah. You know, safety is a key, guys. When you're out of town, you always have to make sure. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. This is, doesn't lock. I mean, but nobody is going to climb up there. It's this way. I'm not worried about this one, though. It's, we, it's, have, we, have, we have free Nikhil Alexander Walker, PSA 10 rookie. Actually, he's pretty good now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Bro. Yeah, we're good. We'll, we'll talk about these tomorrow. Okay. Um, let's roll. We get, Should we bring the camera? Yeah, we can get some nice shots. All right. Let's Jay, I feel like the most reliable thing we can eat right now is pizza. What do you think? We're we're hitting pizza, man. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna port we're gonna Portnoy uh, England. We're gonna do a game Portnoy to England right now. Starbucks thing is crazy. Right now we're going to Pizza Pilgrims. Jay, what if we eat this pizza and it tastes just like Griggs? <laughs> Griggs ain't it. This, I feel like we're about to get trapped on here. Oh, that is that is that is a right, interesting we're, alleyway. We're, we're full, full <laughs> taking a photo or video you guys we have officially conquered soho and we've turned it into moho <laughs> <laughs> look at the photoshop jd's gonna do on this thing we are now in moho county mojo county mojo county but in miami they would say moho <laughs> oh. <laughs> no jay no <laughs> these are some cool colors though Seattle right now. Mm. Hey, you want to go see the menu? Dude, what is this? It's like a food mall. It's like, it's like, it's like um, Frisco, Frisco, the food yeah. mall. Uh, this is Kingly Court. Okay. The sh this street is Carnaby Street. Wow. wow. Carnaby Street is like a big famous shopping district like for us. It is a food hall, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, we've got bars up around here. They're not all over all the time. Is it Pilgrims? Is it pretty good? Yeah, bang and peace Pilgrims. What do you really recommend? Nice, really what do you, nice what do you recommend? I'm a margarita gal. I normally go classic, nothing too fancy. I think okay. there's nothing wrong with a classic. All right, we're going to run it with the classic. What was your name? Uh, Francesca. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have a good one. Oh, they got mushroom and truffle. Double pepperoni and hot honey. And hot honey. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Yeah. yeah, let's do a take take away. We're gonna take away. Yeah. Uh, why don't we try? Let's try the double pepperoni and hot honey. Let's take that back to the Oh yeah. Order. Let's do one margarita, one double pepperoni honey. Yeah. Guys, give us 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. You. All right. 10, 15 minutes. We cannot eat it here. Absolutely not. Like, oh, how how will they know? Because they she totally told they us. They will never know. All right, you guys. <laughs> two pizzas here. Twenty-five ninety. I if I go to Domino's or Pizza Guys or Mountain Mike's or Round Table or um, what's another pizza joint? Uh, what's another place that has enriched wheats and processed uh, pepperoni? <laughs> All I can tell you is uh, twenty-five ninety pounds, which is like thirty-two, thirty-five. 30, I mean, that's what I'm paying at. That's what I'm paying at Pizza Guys on Super Bowl Sunday. There you go. Gosh, bro. All right, I think the pies are ready. Just, they just posted that Rudy Gobert won Defensive Player of the Year, but Wemby should have won. What do you think about that? Do you guys think Wemby was robbed of Defensive Player of the Year? Hold on, show it again. I think, uh, here's the stats. He had more blocks, more steals, and a higher defensive rating. Stats don't lie, Wemby got robbed. Ooh. Comment down below. Let's do a live reveal, here we go. First box, here we go. This is a uh, open case rip of Pilgrim's Pizza. And Did you cut the sides? First rip. <laughs> oh. Snap. Here we go. Oh, look at the edges. Jeez, bro. That's good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Roll out. All right. Hey. We'll see what happens. Oh, Lord. Oh. Hot honey pizza, bro. One bite, let's go. <laughs> no, 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 Don't no. Don't buy the pizza here. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going in. Full dome. Here we go. All right. You might need water. I don't know. How is it? This is so soft. The beautiful, beautiful bread. It's soft. It's sweet. Good flavors. Pretty hungry. A little floppy, kind of loose. I don't know what you want to say there. 
but overall rating, 8 out of 10. I like how soft it is. Mm. Okay. Okay. Standardized it's, opener. It's pretty good, bro. Here we go. It's hearty. It's very margarita -y. Crunch. The crunch made the pizza. I'm with it. Plano Card Show, what happened? Plano Card Show definitely was great. I'm sure it was great this weekend, but the last time we went, I particularly went with uh, Shamari, so shout out to Shamari back in Dallas. Let's go. Um, but we went, they had non-sports over there as well too, so it was a lot of Pokemon stuff, but I picked up some Marvel, 10 bucks. This is not even the gist of it, but these are some of the good, uh, better cards. So, Venom. of course you got Venom, Iron Man, Hope. They look cool. Scarlet Witch. Yeah, these were, I'm, I'm not for sure, I'm still doing research on them, but I know these were some of the cool inserts that were inside of them. And then of course you had these uh, Magneto, Power Blast cards, but they were- All that for $10? Yeah, this was sick. Look at this. Those were sick. Acetate cards, Spider-Man, Goblin. Of course, I like, this is one Ooh. of my favorites. It was, this, so they have the gold signature scripts and I'm not for sure. Well, these the are from 94. One. I thought these were like new. No, no, these are the old ones. Yeah, these was when they, this is like fourth year, I guess, when they started making these, hey, but yeah. You know what they say, collect what you like. Mm -hmm. I need a I need one of those of Anthony Edwards taunting Kevin Durant. Why, why don't they make these tops? Come on. When y'all start getting into the game, we like these. Bring these back. Let's see it. Y'all did it with baseball. Bring these particular ones back. Look at he's coming after us. Anthony Edwards dunking the ball. I can see it now. On John Collins? Oh dang. All I right, you guys. You took our idea. Just remember us when you do it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, please drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need a Zion case, use that mojo, use that code MOJO10. And if you need $15 spent on whatnot, use my link down below. Man, truly blessed. London, I can't believe we're here. Uh, just so, so blessed to be here.